What's up guys? I am creatively bankrupt right now. So uh, we're going to take a look at the Hammond Collection Triceratops. Uh, this figure is pretty cool. It's packed up in my college box. So won't be showing it off, but it's pretty cool. And I hope you guys uh, like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into this. Alright guys, so this is the uh, new Hammond Collection Triceratops here, fresh from Target. This figure costs $20, and I am very excited. This is our first uh, quadruped for the Hammond Collection line, so that should be interesting. And I'm really excited. Triceratops is not my favorite dinosaur, especially the Jurassic Park one, but still excited to get this figure. You can see it right there in the box, looks pretty good. Let's go over the packaging real quick on this guy. This is uh, got the Hammond Collection embossed T-Rex logo. You got Hammond Collection, Triceratops tells you the dinosaur, 8 plus Mattel. Side it says Hammond Collection. On the back, you got a nice render of the figure and then a picture of it from the movie. And it says, having fallen ill from eating West Indian lilac, the Triceratops, Dr. Alan Grant's favorite childhood dinosaur makes an enormous mark on the Jurassic Park tour. So it had a pretty good, it was a very great scene in the movie, but overall Triceratops hasn't really done anything in the Jurassic movies, and it's been kind of like overshadowed by the Sinoceratops and Asutoceratops. It is what it is. And then you got this beautiful render there of the figure. This is part of the Wave 2 of Hammond Collection. Wave 2 consists of the Ceratosaurus, Dr. Grant, the Gallimimus, and the T-Rex. As far as Hammond Collection, we've gotten reveals of part of Wave 3 being Ellie and the Dilophosaurus, but we're also getting more this year. And that has not been revealed, so who knows what else we'll get. Without further ado, let's get this trike out of the box. All right, so here's the trike out of the box. We got to do a little bit of assembly here. You know, your standard plug into the ball joint. That was uh, pretty easy. And we have our Triceratops here out of the box. And this thing is pretty awesome looking. People have complained that it's undersized. And yes, it is undersized. But I think it still looks really good. The Mattel Triceratops has always been undersized, so this one is definitely an improvement over all of the others. Taking a look at the details on this guy, beautiful, beautiful detail. The eye, it's got a sheen, the horns are nice and cracked looking. Got some like, dirt on them. Nice paint on the beak and the frill. Very dirty wash here. Look at all the folds and creases in the skin. Paint details pretty nice. You got paint on the face, throughout the body, this kind of wash, and then a tan underbelly. And then the tail is all one solid piece of plastic, but it doesn't look bad. The worst jarring as some other figures. This guy has a lot of articulation as it is a Hammond Collection figure. It's got movement in the head, it moves side, up and down. Legs will move back and forward as well as out. And then there's also joints here and at the ankle or wrist. I guess the ankle. So you can have him like do some cool charging positions, I guess. Same as the back legs. And then the tail is on a ball joint. 
So you can get some nice movement out of that. Uh, you cannot open the mouth, which is unfortunate. It would have been nice to be able to open the beat. Maybe we'll get an updated Lost World version that can do that, or even a Jurassic World version. This is supposed to be the Jurassic Park Triceratops. I'm very happy with it. You can definitely get a lot of this guy. This is probably the best Triceratops in my collection. I don't own the original Kenner one, so... That's why this is the best, but this one's very detailed, very nice, and I gotta say, I'm very impressed with this Triceratops. Let's do some size comparisons with it. It is next to uh, Dr. Ian Malcolm from the Hammond Collection, as well as the Gallimimus. Big, but it's not massive. It's in the same size as the other medium figures in this assortment, so that's pretty cool. Here it is next to the Aurora Strikers Triceratops, and you can tell they're clearly cut from the same cloth, but this one's had a lot more love and care put into it. But they're fairly act they're fairly similar. They've got different head sculpts. This one's a lot smaller. This isn't in the same mold they've been using since Fallen Kingdom. And really this is a $15 figure, this is a $20 figure. What you're not getting is electronics. Better for a kid that'll be like running around and ramming it into things, but if you have like a, an older kid or like a kid that you know that's a lot more gentle with their toys, or if you just have a kid who's a really really big fan of Triceratops, get them this one instead of this one because this one is just truly the best representation of triceratops you can get right now as far as jurassic park and it's five more dollars that's not gonna break the bank compared to something like this which just feels a little cheap that's gonna be about it for this beautiful hammond collection triceratops let us this thing up All right, thank you guys for watching today's video. I realize my camera's not in frame, so let me squat down so y'all can see me. All right, thank you guys for watching today's video, and I will see you guys later.